Right, so for today's review we have a very peculiar item uh, and it is this item and you might ask what uh, what does this do so this is a Wi-Fi transmitter and it transmits whatever you connect the uh, video input um, cable to uh, so it transmits to iPhone or iOS devices and Android devices. So let's picture a scenario where you are uh, just a, a spectator at an FPV race and you don't want to spend um, hundreds of pounds just buying goggles or uh, even like the cheaper uh, cardboard version boxes cost uh, like 50 pounds or uh, 60 dollars and above. Um, and you want to even like show your friends maybe what the uh, your favorite FPV racer is doing in a race. So that's where this device comes in. And all you need is this plus whatever uh, your favorite receiver is. So in this case, I'm using a um, 32 channel receiver and I'm just gonna power it up and the other device. So I show you how it looks. So we connect this to the, uh, this is the uh, video in to the video receiver. And then we power the whole thing through this light bulb. You can see already the Wi-Fi transmitter is powering up and the link is now active. And we can uh, turn on our transmitter as well. So that's on and we can now use our iPhone, for example, to connect to the um, Wi-Fi transmitter. Now uh, there's an app that you can just download in iOS or in uh, uh, Android devices called Wi-Fi AV. And when you open the app, you can see absolutely nothing. That's because before uh, being able to use it, you need to connect to the Wi-Fi network, which is called Wi-Fi AV. So we're just uh, gonna press on there, and I've pre-configured it already before, so I didn't ask him for any key. But in the manual that comes with this device, you can find the key that allows you to connect to it. So now we're connected, and I can go back to the app, open it up and we see a bunch of snow. That's because the um, FPV drone is not connected yet. So we can go ahead and power it on. And uh, obviously I wouldn't suggest flying with this because it, introduce, it introduces a slight amount of lag. I mean, it's not tremendously bad, but if you're, uh, I wouldn't recommend you racing with uh, such a device. Uh, but if you're a spectator, more than fine for you to use it um, and be able to show, uh, well, be able to see it yourself or even to show your friends. And this is not only available on the iPhone, but also if you have an iPad. And I just happen to have one here. Again, same exact system. You go to settings. Uh, connect to the Wi-Fi network that one Wi-Fi network and once connected again I pre-configured this already once connected you can then open up the app and you should be able to see the FPV feed from the drone so if you're out in the field and you want to show uh, uh, your friends or in the group um, just to see exactly who's flying or what what your favorite pilot file you can uh, use this system and obviously then you can use the receiver to change the channel to whatever the channel you want to use so i don't have any other drones now uh, so you're not able to see any other uh, this system is also available in the 
Android devices. Uh, and it's exactly the same thing. So you have to connect to the Wi-Fi network, which is uh, Wi-Fi AV, connect. Connected. And then once you load up the app, you'll be able to see the feeds, just as we have in all other devices. The cool thing about this app as well is it can record um, the FV feed that you're seeing. So if you just press on the camera, you can see that there's a little timer that started here on the top. Uh, and that allows you to record the video that you're watching. Uh, so you can see it later. So if you go up to settings, uh, you can see the same video that we've just uh, recorded now. Or you can also uh, take a picture. Uh, this is a uh, uh, connection to a server which we don't use because uh, uh, so th the objective the the uh, uh, reason why this was created is actually to use as an IP camera uh, uh, so you can uh, uh, I guess like put in your car or something like that but as most things that we use in our uh, drones um, a lot of the cameras are from security cameras and that's where this uh, also comes in but it's uh, so the, the signal is uh, can be connected in um, analog uh, uh, video so as long as it can read what this is sending it's all good and it will work not sure what that icon does and uh, if you go to settings you can even change the SSI ID for your current uh, network for this um, and uh, change the uh, password as well. Now, one question that you're probably thinking, which is, can I connect several devices uh, at the same time? And unfortunately, the answer is no. Uh, I haven't actually tested with an iOS device and an Android device at the same time, but we can do it now. Uh, and although I can connect to the network, to the same network at the same time, uh, I think that once I go to the Wi-Fi AV, I'm not able to see any feeds um, coming in. So if I close this feed, uh, just uh, turn off this device, power off, then all of a sudden I can see the um, feed going live on my iOS device. So that's uh, uh, a little bit unfortunate. You can't really use several devices to, um, or you can stream from two devices from this um, gadget, but uh, you know at least you can use it for um, one device. So if you're out in the field and you already have an iPhone or an Android device and you want to spectate a race, but you can't really afford uh, very expensive goggles, um, then this might be a solution for you. Uh, and that is all for today. I do hope you have enjoyed this uh, video explaining for this device. Uh, again, if you're not a subscriber, uh, please subscribe. I have reviews uh, week on, week off. And on my channel, there's also uh, the Carlito Show, which is weekly. And uh, we have uh, um, the Shut Up and Fly series, which is just about me not talking and uh, flying in uh, all different sorts of environments. Uh, so yeah, thank you uh, for watching. Uh, there is a little uh, icon here, there should be an icon here where you can uh, subscribe. You can press it and then click on subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, thank you for watching anyways. And you have here on this side a couple more videos that you can keep on watching if you would so wish. Bye!